Howdy. So this is our uh, wheel horse uh, 18 auto, same as the D180. We've had this for a number of years, we don't use it very often. Um, we're putting a very, very, very small garden in. And if we, uh, we're late for the season, but yeah, if we if we do halfway decent this year, we'll, we'll keep on expanding it down straight in a straight line. Um, we got the tiller on, which is the first time we've ever used it. We're working on clutch adjustment. Um, and we're not quite sure if we have it right. We have lots of clutch material, so it's an adjustment issue, we think. Um, I have to kind of feather the uh, engagement lever. Um, but here goes nothing. Like I said, we, it's, you saw when the, the tiller kicked out, it was because the clutch was out of adjustment. I'm going to actually bring you close in. Maybe somebody who knows more about wheel horses will see the video and let me know. But, um, yeah, because I lose its power until I feather the, the lever back just a tiny bit. Um, so let me bring you in close. Okay, so here's a, the twin cylinder um, Kohler. Uh, and it's older, it smokes a bit, but it keep on adding oil and it's good to go. Um, let me show you what it does. We have this cord trying to keep it in the right place. I get most of my power when I'm right up against the, the, the chassis here. So if I, if I bring it back a little bit, and it actually lets a little bit of pressure off, but it's still on the chassis, that's where I get most of my power. So it's still right there. Um, we tried adjusting this, uh, the linkage lever, so that it's not riding on the intake. It's obvious it's been doing that for years because it's been worn in the paint. Um, if we do that, it will flop right over and touch the exhaust, and then you can't engage it because it hits the, the front of this manifold piece, the elbow, and then we can't engage it because it gets stuck. So by keeping it riding on the intake, we can move it back and forth. But you can see it actually moves the whole front of the frame forward. Um, I have lots of clutch material on that clutch. Um, as far I saw one crack in it, but that was it. Um, 
it's missing the return spring that goes to here. Um, so we have a bungee cord kind of playing that role. Um, let me think what else here. There. Yeah, we got to look through the manual. Maybe there's something that's messed up. Um, we chewed up uh, the mower deck belt, and we're not sure if that would. The belt looked pretty dry rot. It might have just been age related. Um, yeah, it starts up good. Like I said, it burns quite a bit of oil. Um, yeah, if we end up keeping this thing long term, we'll probably eventually have the motor rebuilt by somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, it's a good motor I get from what I got my reading of them. Uh, these are used in um, forklifts and a lot of other type of tools, industrial uses. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Where I'm pushing right up against that frame. And I get most of my power if I, if I bring it forward and then I bring it back right about there. You know, just kind of feather it off a little bit. Um, I'd love to hear what people who know more about wheel horses have to say about it. Uh, I'll probably post it on a couple of wheel horse forums. Um, one of the drawbacks to this design, mice love to live in here. We've kicked a ton of mice out of this engine. Um, and if you don't run it for a little while, you almost have to take the, the metal off to get the mice out. Here I'm going to do a little detail of the clutch engaging and disengaging. The brake, turn this back all the way so it starts. see how what the motion is that it goes through. Like I said, if I back it off to like right here, it's probably where I get most of my power. So uh, I'd love to hear from somebody who has an idea what's going on.